How you doing? I'm Mike Gaddy and welcome to this special episode of COVID and Events. I was planning on taking this week off, being that it's the New Year holiday, but Omicron went absolutely ballistic, up 126% in new cases over the last 14 days, according to Johns Hopkins University. So I thought I'd better give you my take on how I think all of this will shake out in the event industry. Let's take a look at that 126% spike because while that is super scary and under other circumstances may cause lockdowns and all the other headache we've seen in the last year and a half, hospitalization stays have only gone up 11% and deaths are actually down 3%. Now it's true, deaths and hospitalizations take a little while to catch up to, um, to the daily spikes, but it's still very good news that it does not seem that Omicron seems to be causing the severe illness and death that other varieties, including Delta, the previous variant, did. And that's backed up by a recent study in South Africa, where it seemed that uh, according to uh, an MSNBC um, report that one study in South Africa seemed to suggest that people were 50 to 70 percent less likely to be hospitalized, hospitalized as a result of being infected with Omicron. In addition, the same study suggests that those who are infected with Omicron seem to develop a more robust immune response against Delta, which is a more deadly variety of COVID-19. MSNBC called it the silver lining in this spike and seems to wonder whether the huge uptick in Omicron won't actually help to usher in herd immunity a little bit faster. An Oxford University scientist interviewed just yesterday uh, suggested that Omicron is indeed much less severe than Delta. And he said, quote, the horrific scenes of previous COVID infections are now a thing of the past. And he was talking about the overflowing morgues and the overflowing ICUs and people left helpless by themselves in, um, in the ICU for extended periods of time. He suggested that, quote, this disease appears to be less severe. Those who are admitted to the hospital have a shorter stay by shorter, just a few days. And in fact, the treatments they receive are not, don't tend to be in the ICU and don't tend to require severe pushes of oxygen. That's it for COVID and events. How all this will impact the event industry as we move into the first quarter of next year remains to be seen. Right now, events seem to be holding. The event planners I've talked to continue to rely on masks and vaccination requirements to have their in-person events continue forward. Ours, our first uh, in-person event for 2022 is scheduled in Miami in just a couple of weeks. That's an international medical event. We'll see if it holds. Hopefully it will. Talk to you soon. Stay safe.